Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about how to fix the hard drive PCB board. This is the hard drive. The PCB board is damaged. Before fixing the PCB board, let us do a basic analysis on the PCB board. Then we know what to do. We are going to use these two pictures to talk about the basic functions of the PCB board and the hard drive case, and also talk about some quick fix solutions. Picture 1 is the hard drive case after removing the PCB board. Picture 2 is the PCB board. We are going to use the red circle number as sequence to talk about them one by one. 1. Main IC, also called CPU. On the picture 2, under the red circle 1, is the main IC. And if you take a close look, you can see a heat sink pack on the top. The corresponding part on the hard drive case is also under the red circle 1, is the heat sink built in with the hard drive case. That means this chip will get hot when the hard drive working. So keep the hard drive cool is always a good idea. In other words, if the hard drive get overheat, the hard drive probably uh, will not work properly. 2. Motor IC On picture 2, under the red circle 2, is the motor IC. The corresponding part on the hard drive case, on picture 1, also under the red circle 2, is a heat sink. This is the motor IC's heat sink. This chip will get hot for sure, when the hard drive is running. And uh, if the hard drive get overheat, the first victim is this chip. This chip is uh, very easy to be burned when the hard drive get overheat. 3. Actuator contacts. On picture 2, under the red number 3, are the contacts for actuator on the PCB board. On picture 1 and the red number 3 are contacts for the actuator on the hard drive case. The actuator controls the disk head to read and write from the disk. So these contacts are very important some cases, uh, for example, uh, the hard drive get watered or the hard drive was in the high humidity uh, condition for a long time, these contacts uh, may get rusty. For this hard drive, PCB board, if you take a close look on picture 2 and the red number 3, you can see the contacts already partially be rusty. So uh, cleaning the contacts sometimes can fix the problem if the problem is caused by the poor connection of the contacts. 4. Motor contacts on picture 2 and the red number 4 are the motor contacts. The corresponding part on the hard drive case also under the red number 4 are motor contacts. If the hard drive doesn't spin, cleaning the motor contact sometimes helps, but not always, because if the hard drive doesn't spin, Maybe because of the poor contacts, 
or maybe because of the motor chip is burned or maybe because of the disc or spindle stuck and uh, many other different reasons so cleaning the motor contacts only can fix the problem caused by the poor connection after finishing the basic analysis of the PCB board let us go back take a look of the damaged PCB board the motor chip is burned very badly as we can see it for other chips we are not sure if they are damaged as well there is one special IC on the board which is the former IC this chip holds all the critical information of the hard drive one very important thing is that we can test this chip good or bad and also we can test the information on this chip is good or bad for other chips on the PCB board it is hard to test them for example the main IC it is really hard to test the main IC is working or not so replacing the chip on the board it is not an easy and reliable solution so we consider to swap the whole PCB board instead of fix the chip on the board because the donor board is from a working hard drive so the donor board is guaranteed it's working and also we can transfer the information from the bad PCB board to the good donor board we can test the information of the firmware from the memory chip so we guarantee the board is good the firmware is good so we can have a good working donor board will be compatible with the original hard drive we are continue to talk about how to find a correct donor board and how to make an identical cloned PCB board we use the hard drive model number and the PCB board number as reference to find the correct donor board we do PCB board from a transfer to make an identical PCB board which is 100% compatible with the old hard drive locate the model number of the hard drive locate the board number of the hard drive PCB board you may go to www.hdd-parts.com in the search box input the board number and then click on go the correct donor board is found PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board it may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board for this model hard drive we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first then we swap the PCB board otherwise the new board will not work on the original hard drive why do we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer because for this model hard drive one PCB board includes two parts hardware and firmware the PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board, firmware transfer we have three things to mention first PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade the PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board the hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware it nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board 
Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware also called hard drive PCB board BIOS and uh, the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip, like the first picture shows. Some PCB board BIOS are integrated into the main IC like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drives PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware. We have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. If you have any questions such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? Please go to www hdd-parts.com to check it out or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.